Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike here, coming at you guys with Atlanta Falcons fans reaction to the releasing of AJ Bouye. And will I consider signing this guy? Well, um, I wouldn't uh, on the basis of the Falcons just don't have a lot of money for guys at not only his age, but uh, the money that they will um, or he will garner. Uh, AJ Bouye is obviously still has something to give as far as his ability is concerned. Um, but when you have a guy like AJ Terrell, who me and my humble opinion, um, just feels as though that he is the guy. I think he, he really is the guy. He has that athleticism. I don't think anybody can question whether or not AJ um, Terrell has the athleticism, but he has the confidence. Um, definitely one of the one of the most confident younger corners in the NFL uh, right now. Um, but not only that, but he has the ability. He's physical. He loves to tackle. He's going to play with the guy in Dean Pease, who has his defensive scheme. It's just you know, it just screams. I'm going to do great things with AJ Terrell. But the question is, can AJ Bouye be that guy? I, I believe so. I believe so. Um, you put him around the right players, um, go back to his Jacksonville days. Um, he had a very good squad, uh, a very good squad up front. Those guys uh, had the ability to get after the quarterback. Um, Yannick, you got um Calais Campbell those guys were pretty good uh pass rushes up there so he, he didn't necessarily have um to struggle for the most part you go to Denver Denver um a very good front four um but with the injury of uh Von Miller pretty much set him out for most of the year um it was just not a lot of success in Denver all right so when when you put those two together the injuries, the the money that he's going to garner for um, being a, a a fairly middle aged young quarterback, um, a cornerback for the Atlanta Falcons, and the money that the Falcons would have to use to go after him, I don't necessarily think that's a good idea. AJ Bouye, it just depends on what he's going to ask and what the market is acting for him. As well as, um, just want to kind of get this out of the way also. I've been asked about uh, Adrian, uh, Adrian Peterson, but um, Patrick Peterson. Um, should the Atlanta Falcons go after Patrick Peterson? Um, if the price were right, um, yes, if he would consider coming to the Atlanta Falcons and you know playing for the veteran minimum just to be a part of the culture. I think I would definitely, I think anybody, to be honest, would be a fool to not want Patrick Peterson. Even at his stage of his career, where he's not as a dominant shutdown corner, but he still has a lot of, he definitely still has a lot of um, play left. So depending on, you know, whether or not the Falcons can get a veteran deal for a guy like um patrick peterson i i I would definitely do it but i just don't think the falcons have enough money to bring in a guy of his caliber um especially when you got a guy like i said i I truly believe in aj terrell i think he's going to be a terrific corner um you pretty much um couple that with the idea of um, that defensive scheme for Dean Pease, these guys are going to be very aggressive as a cornerback. So a guy like AJ Bouye, I think he definitely has something left, but I'm just not convinced that the Falcons want to move in the direction of draft uh, or just signing a guy like AJ Bouye with the money he's going to go. I, I tr- truly believe that he's going to go on a, um, somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to ten million dollars and being that the falcons are looking for opportunities to 
you know, get more money from the salary cap. I feel as though that they're definitely going to part ways with Ricardo Allen. Don't know what's going to have happen with Keon O'Neill. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with Kendall Sheffield as well as Isaiah Oliver. We don't know at this point. So uh, at this point, until we really see what's going to happen in the draft, um, I just, I, I really just don't know. So let me know what you guys think about that, man. Um, leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.